Hello everybody, this is Ariane Arsenault from La Fille de la Mer and welcome to a new episode of the Summer Short series. Um, I wanted to do a quick video today because I have just gotten an amazing gift from the Bath Bomb Press. So they have sent me a free double press uh, to make videos and to review and we have been using it for the past week and we love it and I thought it was about time that I made a first video using it. So the double press has two pistons and it allows you to press two of the same bath bombs or two different bath bombs uh, at the time. And that's what we're doing today. We have, it's a fruit cap shaped mold and here we have the large bath bomb mold. So we're making one recipe and pressing two different shapes with it. In our base today, we are using the Galactic Grape Fragrance Oil that we get from Candora. It smells amazing. And we are just mixing our baking soda with uh, the liquid ingredients, which contain rubbing alcohol, um, bath bomb dye, the amethyst from the Fizz Fairy, and uh, Galactic Grape is right there, as I said, from Pandora. It also has um, great seed oil and baking soda and kale and clay, that's it. And we will add the sodium lauryl sulfur acetate a little bit later with the citric acid. Look at this lovely, great color. It smells so good. I wish there was a scratch and sniff option on this phone. In goes the SLSA and the citric acid that we add to our baking soda mixture once it is wet so that we don't have the crazy fizzy reaction when we add the, the citric acid and the wet ingredients together. Once we are done mixing the mixture, we like to flip it into another bowl just so that we are certain that the baking soda is thoroughly mixed and that there's not anything white in the bottom and we just like stir it briefly by hand to make sure everything is nicely combined. And as you've probably figured it out by now, I'm not making the bath bombs. <laughs> So I have Milan making bath bombs today and she's been making most of her bath bombs all summer. I only made a few and I've been focusing on soap, melt and pour soaps, shampoos, uh, solid conditioners among other things. So let's start pressing. We just always fill our molds on a scale so that we have consistent shape or size or weight bath bombs and then we just place them into the double press. So it's a much bigger sized bath bombs. And we press them in the same time. Voila. Sorry about the compressor, guys. It is noisy, but it is life. This is what happens when you uh, use a compressor activated bath bomb press. Um, we could bring the compressor into a different area, but we just keep it here. And that's how you unmold the cupcake. And now for the fruit cup, we just flip it over with the bottom removed and voila, it's fragile. There we go. So you get a really big wide opening in that one to put whatever you want inside, like drizzle, icing, fizzy icing. And for the cupcake, there's just a little hole on the top so that you can insert the, the frosting in there and it kind of grabs and holds onto the cupcake. Here are some more of these cupcakes and fruit cups and we have another pressed batch ready to unmold. are some of the cupcakes and the fruit cup bath bombs that we've made yesterday. We are ready to pipe some frosting on them and we are using Irene from Buddy Bonbons uh, buttercream icing recipe. Um, I'll add a link below if you want to find out who Irene is. She's awesome and she makes beautiful creation fizzy stuff and other things. We are just going to place this beautiful frosting into the piping bag and because we're using just a white frosting for all of the cupcakes, we did not add any scent, 
but the, the cupcake and the fruit cups bath bombs are already scented in amazing fragrances. Uh, the pink is scented in a strawberry fragrance. The yellow is lemon curd and this one, as you know, is galactic grape. We start in the center, in the little hole, so the frosting kind of holds in there, and we pipe all around and finish in the middle. Beautiful. And this gives us 50 grams, roughly, of cupcake uh, frosting for each of the bath bombs. The fruit cup is a little bigger, so we're going to start by filling the cup and piping into it. Now we're going to bring this icing up some more. And voila! Here we are just washing the stock pot that we used to make the buttercream icing and look at all this foam crazy lather. This is going to be crazy in the bathtub. Because we didn't have an actual bath bomb ready to show you, I thought I'd show you uh, washing the dishes. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed the process of how we make these beautiful fizzy cupcakes and sundae cups here at La Fée de la Mer. I want to thank the Bath Bomb Press for sponsoring part of this video by offering me the Bath Bomb Double Press. Uh, I'm really grateful that they trust me to use, operate and demonstrate their equipment. So the molds that were used today are the, the really big fruit cup mold as well as the large bath bomb cupcake mold. And so this gives me like two different sizes of um, fizzy treats. And we will of course uh, wrap and label them later. They will need to dry for a couple days before the frosting becomes hard, but it does become rock solid. This is a leftover piece from a previous batch and I can drop it on the table and it's barely even dented. So very, very solid. And this makes a really nice lather in the tub. These are so much fun to use. I will post a um, snippet on Instagram. So please go follow me on Instagram. It's at La Fée de la Mer. And um, I'll upload a, a video of these in the water in action when they're actually ready to go. See you soon. Thank you for watching. Goodbye. Ouais. <laughs> There's the little monkey in my workshop. Did you want to smell the cupcakes? No? Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm. You like it? Yes. Yes? Are you going to put one in your bath? Yes. When we have a bath? <laughs> Say bye. Mm -hmm.